Now, the danger for Israel is that these tourists come and see that this is a Palestinian space, that this is a Palestinian city, that it has Palestinian traditions and heritage. So what Israel would like to do is bring the tourists here, but not let them see any of that, which means bringing them in just for an hour. They come in, they see their holy places, and then they leave and they go somewhere else. They don't spend any time here. So the, the, the struggle is not only to revive your own culture, but is to, to be proud of it and show it to the rest of the world. So if you can develop these spaces as Palestinian guest houses, uh, as Palestinian cultural centers, um, you, you bring the tourist here, but on your terms. Now slowly, in a sense, because there's a mirror, these tourists bring a mirror to remind themselves of who they really are to remind them that their story is worth something, that it's interesting, that their culture is worth something, that their food is, is of interest to those outside. It reminds them of how important their culture is. And this is what I find, in a sense, inspiring about the story of, of the old city here and seeing uh, the projects, the hotels that have been, small guest houses that are developing here and Liwan's story, which is a very important center for me. It's somewhere where I can bring the people, they can experience this culture. They can see it. They can see it in the things that are being sold there. They can see it in the art exhibitions. They can see it in the cuisine that's being uh, provided for them. So in all these different ways, they can sense in the old city around these buildings and seeing how the, the heritage is, is being revived in somewhere like Liwan, that there's a story of hope, that it isn't just about erasure, that actually Palestine... R remember, Golda Meir famously said, the old will die and the young will forget. And some of the old did die, but the young haven't forgotten. They're reviving these traditions and the culture. And that's what's so important. That's why I find it an inspiring story.